Good, marvelous second round of the GISA and GHSA state playoffs. Avery Braxton and I tip off your coverage. We begin tonight in Fort Valley with Peach County and visiting Thompson. Let go. Early first quarter action, Peach County hitting the boards hard. Ladaria Leggett with the putback in the lane. Then how about Ladarius Johnson, Euro stepping through traffic. That's a grown man move for the hoop and the harm, and that ties the ball game. Bulldogs and Trojans exchanging blows early from one end to the other, and here's another Johnson finish at the cup. Home team still trails by one after one. Second quarter, hey, hey you, get up the Trojans way. Edric Bailey for three from the corner pocket, then Ja'Cory Brooks floats one in the lane, and it rattles on home. But watch this top play of the week nominee from the black and gold, Ja'Cory Brooks, with the behind the back pass to Tamarius Mathis, and Peach would lead by half a dozen at the intermission. But not so fast, my friend. Fast forward into the fourth quarter, Trojans trailing, and they can't make up the difference. Thompson wins 80 to 77. Over in the Mac Town, the FPD Viking versus Savannah Christian. Game time, the visiting Raiders trying to get the first bucket, but Jalen Goodrum not having any of it with that block. The Vikings wouldn't miss their first chance to score. Jordan Jones with a nice fake, then passes to Jay King, and he gets the triple. Bang, bang, bang. A few possessions later, and yep, Jay King again. He takes a nice step back and gets another bucket to drop. Jay King had 22 points to close things out. The Vikings are not done yet. Jordan Jones pulls up, and he drops the money ball for the Vikings. Three of his game-high 23 on the night. The Vikes win 67-43 to move on to the Elite Eight. Time to check in with Avery Braxton with more coverage on high school basketball. Thanks, Marv. The 23-4 JMA Trojans facing Westminster on their home floor. First Trojan basket is a top play nominee. Olivia Rhodes tight ropes the baseline, slips the pass through the window to Avery Barton, who gets the layup to go. Westminster battling though, and Drew Cooks crossing the lane inside, gets the hook to hang. Westminster up 7-6, going to the second quarter. A big bucket for the career of Olivia Rhodes. She bangs home the floater and scores her 1,000th point as a John Millage Trojan. A timeout is called to allow Rhodes to soak in the moment. Her teammates showing her love and the crowd letting her know they appreciate all she's done. Congrats, Olivia. Trojans up six. And the lead would extend thanks to Maggie Presswood. Three ball, corner pocket. Trojans up 18-7 at half and put it on cruise control to a 37-25 victory in advance to the GISA Final Four. Game two, Westfield Lady Hornets facing Bullock Academy. First quarter, the three ball was buzzing. We get back-to-back -back threes from the Hornets and they're up eight to six. Then the sister-to-sister -sister connection, Ellie Williams to her twin Emma, and the twin telepathy gets a bucket. 14-12 Westfield after one. Second quarter, Bullock's Leah Woolford. Bull in a China shop, just wrecking shop for two. 37-34 Hornets headed to the fourth quarter. Down the stretch is the Avery Adams show, a double-A battery energizer bunny. She had 17 to lead all scores, and Westfield wins 48-38 to join the final four. The trifecta, Baldwin hosting the Hardaway Hawks. Second quarter, Braves feed Jacoby Nixon early and often. Turnaround Jay is soft as cotton. Then check out the defense. Shatavius Hogan gets up, pins the block off the glass. Then a short time later, William Freeman, with a little sizzle and the bucket. But we're tied at 20, going into halftime. Let's jump to the fourth quarter. Two minutes left, Braves down three. Freeman finds Hogan underneath to cut the deficit to just one. And then off the inbounds, give it back to the inbounder, Freeman. Three ball, corner pocket. Braves take the lead by two. Baldwin gonna survive the upset attempt. They move on to the GHSA Elite Eight with a 46-44 nail-biting win. Avery Braxton, 13 WMAZ Sports.